1950, Fender came up with this, the fantastic Telecaster. It's called something else at the beginning and there was a court case and the Telecaster ended up being its name. It's a fantastic guitar. It's remained relatively unchanged in its design since those early days. A few different neck profiles maybe, different styles of pickups, but essentially the idea is exactly the same. Now, as rock music evolved through the 60s and became heavier, Fender realised that they were losing a little bit of business to Gibson, who were making guitars with humbuckers on and therefore could get more gain out of the amplifier. Fender responded with this. This is the Telecaster Deluxe. So you can see the headstock's a bit different as well. It's got humbuckers on instead of single coils. What I'm going to do now is to play a few things. This isn't a this versus this. They're both great guitars, but it's important to know the difference. And also, really, you should have both of these in your collection. Let's have a listen. Now, before I start playing, both of these guitars have exactly the same set of strings on them. They're 11 gauge Ernie Ball. That's what I use. And actually both sets of strings are brand new. So what you're hearing is a pretty fair comparison. I'm gonna start with the bridge pickup on the Telecaster with the single coils, and I'm gonna play something and you'll hear and see it fading to the other guitar with pretty much the same riff. And I'm gonna try and play exactly the same way. <laughs> Okay, so you can hear that this has a little bit more output than this. It's a little bit fatter in tone, which is something you'd expect of a humbucker versus a single coil. But the single coil on the Telecaster is still very capable. There's still plenty of output level from it. It's not all about output level, certainly not. Sometimes you want something that's a little bit more delicate. Now I'm gonna to move to the neck pickup. I'm gonna stay with the Deluxe and I'm gonna play some blues. <laughs> So you can see, or you can hear, that this is quite a lot silkier than this. So it depends what you want to play. If you want to play, I played some jazz guitar, but actually jazz sounds great on anything. It's, um, I do the um, jazz gigs on the deluxe really, because it's just a bit beefier, but I've done gigs like that on this. Now, middle pickup position. This is where you have your sort of funky chords. There we are. So you can hear that this has just got a bit more of that mid range, which you may want. Now, what's it like with the distortion then? Well, because this is louder, you will have a little bit more gain available on this. So if I just switch my overdrive on. <laughs> Now the output levels of both of these guitars sure can drive that drive pedal and give it a bit of distortion, but you do get a little bit more sustain or a little bit more just oomph from the Telecaster Deluxe. So both of those were on the bridge pickup there. Now in terms of playability, they're very, very similar. That's got a more of a C-shaped neck, the Telecaster Deluxe versus this. So it does take time to get used to one or the other. To wear them, this one, it doesn't have any contouring at all. It's just, it's essentially a flat piece of wood that's very slightly rounded at the edges. Whereas you can see with the Telecaster Deluxe, you have the contouring here. So it actually feels a bit more like a Stratocaster when you're wearing it. There's a, a sort of a, something to fit around your body here. No contouring here like you get on the Strat, but these are two fantastic guitars. And as you can see, as you can hear, they sound quite different. So really suitable for everything. <laughs> 